take a look at what it looked like in Columbia's Five Points just several hours ago. We saw some heavy rain, thunderstorms, flooding, high winds, down trees, and even hail. This is video some of you sent us from your area. It helps us tell a much better story when we can get your pictures in. And so we thank you in advance for that. But we've also seen some property damage. The mm -hmm. good news on this Thursday evening is that there have been no reports of injuries. Thank you so much for joining us for News 19 at 11. I'm Darcy Strickland. JR has the night off along with meteorologist Corey Smith. Corey, what an evening we had. Yeah, and you know, this is always bound to happen. When we get those triple digit temperatures, yeah. there's so much energy in the atmosphere. Yeah. We saw what happened today with all those thunderstorms really setting things off. All right, we're going to take a look at some more pictures and video just to get you uh, acclimated to what happened across the area. It may not have been bad in your area, but this is Shady Lane. We begin tonight with a look at the damage. Homeowners are going to have a lot of cleanup after that strong line of severe weather moved through the area. Shady Lane in the southeast part of Columbia, where you can see for yourself, trees were uprooted. They were across the road and they were unfortunately on top of homes and just down the road on Oxford Road. The cleanup process will begin in the morning for these homeowners as well. It appears straight line winds caused these trees to crash onto the roof. Fortunately, no one was hurt and more trees in the roadway and more homes damaged. This is what we saw after two to three inches of rain fell in the Midlands over a time span of two hours or less. A quick check of the Dominion Energy website shows that there are still more than 200 homes or businesses in the Midlands in the dark because of these power outages. This is from Downing Street where a tree fell into the roadway and brought down power lines. It was pretty busy. You know, we saw we saw trees down, power lines down. We seen flooding um, all over the place. And you know, this, this is probably one of the worst hit areas right here. Uh, down here on down and, and also on Shady Lane. We got several trees down on houses and as you can see we got, a, we got a tree down in the middle of the road and also a tree down on the house down the street. That was Columbia Fire Chief Aubrey Jenkins. This is what Columbia's Five Points area looked like. Again, strong wind, blowing rain and as always when it rains this hard, stores get flooded. The sandbags come out and business owners have to find a way to start clean, cleaning up. Now take a look at this video from earlier this evening, the Rocky Branch area of Columbia. Uh, this is what it looked like several hours ago. It's a very different story right now as things have started to, the water started to recede in that area. But you can see for yourself, emergency crews, first responders in the city of Columbia placing their team there to stop drivers from going through that area. We know there was one driver who found himself stranded on top of a vehicle having to wait to be rescued by first responders. But again, this is what Rocky Branch looks like at this hour. The water has receded.